Hodacious, how's it going, Bob? So today there was a huge, huge update added to Rust, and you really gotta hand it to Gary and his team of developers. They really impressed me, and I hope you're impressed too, uh, for the work that they've been doing for the past couple of weeks. It's mainly what they changed to the terrain, uh, they changed how it looks and feels, and it's just beautiful now. And they also added a ton of new features, touched up on some bugs. So there's really the three main things we all look forward to in these updates. Fixing bugs, um, helping out performance, and adding new features. Awesome Gary, good job. Now I will touch on the terrain a little bit, but I will expand on it towards the end of the video. As you can see here, they added driftwood and there are rocks embedded in the sand. It's little details like this that really make the game feel more full and it really makes it feel beautiful and gorgeous. You know, this is a lot more realistic, it's, it's more detailed, that's really awesome. And now I'm going to talk about the features added to the game. The most anticipated item for the past few days has probably been the guitar. The guitar here, I will play a little bit. As you can see, uh, I am playing some music inside of this harsh world. You can play the guitar by using the left click and then you can pluck the strings by using right click. And yeah, you can move it up, play around with it, and create some songs if you want to. Uh, and it can be really cool to maybe use around a campfire with your buddies and create some entertainment. Another cool addition made to the game is the camera. The camera is basically the Steam screenshot we all know, but it has some cool bells and whistles. You can focus in on an object and everything around it will be blurry. Like you see the background way back there with the forest, it's all blurry. You can create some cool screenshots with this uh, little tool, this little camera. And I think they talked about they want to add filters maybe. You know, so you so you could maybe uh, have a Instagram account for your Rust. You know, you, uh, maybe take some selfies. Who knows? Now I'm gonna go over some of the structures added to the game. Right here, we got the repair bench. We've already had the repair bench, but this is a model for it, and it looks awesome as hell. This is a legit repair bench. This is something I want in my house. This is awesome. It serves the same function. It's got the same thing in here, but it, it looks so much cooler. What I really like is that they added three new barricades to the game. These are the offensive spikes. We got the beginning tier right here. You don't need a blueprint for it. It takes 350 wood to make it. Then we got uh, wooden spikes with barbed wire. This takes 350 wood and 200 metal fragments. And then we got the metal uh, tier here of spikes, which takes 500 metal fragments. And uh, the metal one damaged you the most, where these basic wooden ones damage you, I'd say, the least. And I think the barbed wire here is to slow you down. I will step into it, show you how much it damages me. It does about 10 initial damage and then 1 damage for every, I'd say, half a second you're in there, a second. Then this does about 10 about 10 damage, but it's I'm, I'm moving a lot slower. That's why the barbed wire is there. And then this, oh, well, if I go into it, I'm most likely going to die. So I'm going to use a med kit here. I'm going to show off med kits. Large med kits do not heal you uh, uh, instantly 100 anymore. I think they still heal you for 100, but it slowly uh, goes up there, slowly regenerates. And if you are to be damaged while it's going up, it will stop and not give you the whole 100. As you see here when I jump into this, that's pretty, that pretty much did uh, 20 initial damage. And as you can see, my large med kit has stopped giving me health. And um, yeah, the, the metal barricade it definitely hurts you the most. I will show you the new bandaging animation. Bandages cannot be stacked anymore, but if you hold left click or just left click in general, just press left click, as you can see yourself wrapping yourself up and patching yourself up and ready to go. And, and they don't heal you instantly. You obviously have to wait through the animation. That's pretty cool. Now something else I want to go over is the grenades. The grenades were in Legacy as well, so I'm glad they finally added them to the new version of Rust. It's slowly starting to feel more and more like Legacy, uh, which I absolutely loved and adored. So, I'm just going to throw a grenade here, throw it right at the twig walls, and we'll see and watch it uh, explode it. Bang! There you go. Obviously, the twig didn't stand a chance, but it's still cool seeing the grenade in action. Another really cool addition made to the game is models for dropped items. Remember when you drop an item, you get a little cloth bag and you have to go up to it and find out what it is by the text? Well now, you can drop items like let's say the starter rock. Bang! Look! We got a little rock out here. There's our little starter rock. It's actually shown in game. You can pick it up. That's pretty cool. 
they don't have this for every item yet, but I'll show you with a couple. See the AK. Look, look at that. That's awesome. We got a real world model here. And then we got stones. We got wood. We got the metal hatchet. Actually, no, we don't have the metal hatchet. <laughs> we have the stone hatchet and we have the guitar. I think there's a few others, but I'm not sure. I think these are pretty cool. Look, you got stones here. We got wood. That's awesome. And now I want to touch on the terrain side of things. This was one of the biggest additions made to the game. The terrain looks absolutely beautiful now. There's so much more detail as I went over a little bit before. But now I'm really, I'm really going to show you what it's like. We got rock arches here. That's awesome. And I'm sure people will eventually build up here, which you can. You can uh, expect to see some towers up here, maybe another rock base. And these are awesome. I'm just going to fly around and show you some of the newer additions, even just the color of the grass and the, uh, the colors of the forest and how the shading works and the lighting. It's just truly amazing. We got dirt on top of rocks and everything just blends together, you know. We got flowers here. I We got some tiny little rocks. I know we have mushrooms. We got a mushroom right here. And here's just a little, uh, little funny thing little tip for you guys is if you attack a mushroom they bleed I read somewhere that down the road you can harvest these and be able to eat them and could possibly be drugs like rust version of uh, drugs that could be pretty cool you never know and here's something really cool the rivers look so much better it's a lot smoother we got a naked man over there basking a rock I'm not gonna let him see me flying around but I'm just going to go over this terrain a little bit more and truly show how beautiful this game has become these forests look amazing, this ground, this ground, the sand, the grass, uh, and all these rocks, it, and the road. The road has turned stone now, that's pretty cool. This game has truly become gorgeous. Not only was there an awesome terrain update in this week's update, but there was so many new features and additions added that uh, we, we will have plenty to do and be in awe of for the next week. Uh, until the next update comes. Thank you, Gary. You did a stellar job. So I think that's the end of the video. I will create another video really showing off the terrain. I think I'll fly around the whole entire map, show the different biomes, and really show what there is to offer. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, Bubba. Remember to have a fantastic day. I know that I will, and I will see you guys later. That looks a lot cooler, I must say. Um, the, the throwing animation looks a little choppy right now. Oh! Oh! Headshot! Oh my fucking... Oh my god!